guys, um, just wanted to update you a little bit um, as far as what I have decided to do with my diet plan um, moving forward. Um, so I just recently updated you on my four months out and I kind of hit a stall lately. And I don't know if it's because it's the holidays and it's just a little harder to get to the gym or what it is, but like, I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm trying and I've done, I'm doing the same things that I've done, but the scale is just moving a lot slower. And so, um, I've decided to kind of go more, and I mean, this is just kind of common sense, but I've decided to go more like holistic, healthy foods. So I am still trying to get my protein in first, um, but I'm just making sure that all the food that I eat is natural, um, I'm trying to just, and I wouldn't say I'm all organic, but just trying to, you know, splurge a little bit more on the organic type produce, the organic um, seeds and nuts and things like that. Um, Cause I just feel like maybe I just need to get the processed parts um, out of my diet and um, just kind of switch out some things for better options. So like for instance, I really want to start um, drinking like a hot green tea with lemon um, instead of an iced coffee with a bunch of artificial sweeteners in it um, and heavy cream because I just feel like that doesn't really do anything for me. And I'll still get the caffeine from the green tea um, and just swap out things like that. Like I think the difference in calories alone when I put it into my fitness pal. Um, so my iced coffee now ranges from 130 to 180 calories depending on what kind of cream or, or heavy cream I put in it uh, with my green tea and lemon and then possibly some collagen peptides if I can find some um, I think it goes down to about 60 calories total and that's basically just the collagen peptides um, so just little swaps like that I'm gonna try to start doing um, I've also signed up for a Papa John's 10 miler and so I'm going to start trying to do some kind of a running um, program where I've never been a runner ever. I've never even ran a mile before in my life and so I really want to start just pushing my body to do those kind of things because I'm, I mean, I'm four months out. I'm feeling good. I don't feel like I'm missing any energy. I don't feel like my body still needs time to rest or heal or anything like that. And I really want to start getting the most out of this journey that I possibly can. So um, I think this video is going to be um, just a little inside peek into my grocery haul now that I've kind of have this in mind. So you can kind of see some of the things I'm getting to incorporate into my diet um, as well as um, where I get them from. And then I will do a couple more what I eat in a day is coming up uh, just so you can kind of see how I incorporate those foods into uh, my diet. So um, I also wanted to show real quick before I um, show the actual grocery haul. Um, I did find and actually found these from Health Nut Nutrition. And again, I will link her channel down below. Um, I'm trying to get just one by itself. Ugh. But I found these awesome like lunch containers. I don't know, I'm just such a sucker for lunch containers. But this is just perfect to put like a salad and then maybe um, some nuts or chips and hummus or um, you know veggies and some kind of a dip or something. Uh, grapes and nuts, something. It just I think it's just perfect. It's like my lunch and my snack all together in one box. Um, and these are super durable containers. Um, and so they come, if I can stack them back up right, um, they come in four different colors and I don't know, they're just really good. They're BPA free, all that good stuff. Um, and so it comes with the lids and the containers. And so I will link those below. Like I said, um, I just got them from Health Nut Nutrition's link. And if you're interested in those, I think those would be helpful. Um, and I also decided, since I'm trying to do this whole natural um, kind of push here to switch out my plastic um, travel mugs, especially since now I'll be drinking hot drinks in the morning for glass. Um, it's just supposed to be better for you. You're not, you're not absorbing all of the toxins and stuff in the plastic. Um, and so I got this one from Amazon as well. It has like a little button to release 
small amounts at a time. Um, so I don't know, I really like that. Um, and they have all different kinds of colors. This is just like a rubber outside and then the glass is here. So I can link that below if you'd like or um, you know, just let me know in the comments. Um, but now I'll go ahead and show you what else I got at Costco and Walmart um, for this new part of my diet plan. All right guys, I just wanted to show you a grocery haul that I made uh, last night with my husband at Costco. Um, just because a lot of this stuff is going to be in my what I eat in a days this week. So, um, if I didn't get it from Costco, I will let you know. Um, so the first thing I got here are these Wild Wonders. Um, I really like them in my salad. Just, they have different colored, um, like grape tomatoes. Um, and you get a big pack of them at Costco for about the same price as like a little pack at Walmart. So, I love putting those in my salads. Um, I got some organic limes. I did not get these from Costco. I got these from Walmart just because we did, I only needed them for like a couple of recipes. Um, uh, I got these organic chia seeds. Um, I've never really used chia seeds, but some of the health and fitness channels I've been watching, and I'll link them down below, um, they've just showed that they have a lot of good things in them. Um, one is that they have five grams of protein. It is 150 calories per three tablespoons, 13 carbs. Um, but I thought maybe just add in like a spoonful of these or two um, to like my, uh, also some almond milk to make some chia pudding with a little nut butter or something uh, would be really good. Or even just adding this to water. Um, it just really, it has a lot of fiber and calcium. And so it really kind of just helps clean out everything and get everything working properly um the next two things i've always been like an iceberg and romaine kind of girl and so i decided to switch it up and go for some darker greens because those are the ones that have the nutrients um so i've got some organic baby spinach here and these just come in these big tubs from costco got the spring mix organic as well um so i figured for my lunches for the week um that i would just kind of take a handful of this and a handful of that and make my salad um i also got this organic jack's cantina style salsa and medium um so it's organic salsa really good ingredients um five calories per two tablespoons and i got this actually because i'm going to make omelets this week um, with my little purple Tupperware container you all probably already seen, but this is just a lot easier than, to me at least, than cutting up bell peppers and onions and things, and, um, it gives it really a good flavor to my omelets. Um, I got a big bunch of asparagus. I'm gonna roast this with some salmon later this week, and whatever I don't use, I'm just gonna freeze, so that was a really good deal. Um, I also got this from Walmart. It's chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. I'm actually going to use a couple of these peppers and some, here it is right here, uh, ranch seasoning and salad mix, uh, dressing mix and some sour cream or Greek yogurt, whichever one I find. Um, also got this abasa chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. I got those from Walmart. Um, I'm going to mix a couple of these peppers with um, some ranch powder and some Greek yogurt to make a veggie dip. I actually got this from the Pioneer Woman. I watched one of her episodes. Um, that's what the limes are for too. You put a little lime juice in there and it's really good. So I'll be using that this week. Um, I got this great big bag of lemons. Um, I'm trying to, like I said earlier in the video, just have an overall more holistic healthy approach to what I'm eating as I'm getting further along on my weight loss journey and so um, I plan on having at least one of these a day either in my morning drink or through my water throughout the day. Um, we got some clementines. These are mostly for Matt as you can see he's already busted through and had some um, but he usually takes two or three in his lunch every day and then if I want a little something sweet um, they're just nice and little. Um, and they have a lot of fiber because of all the skin. So got that. 
these I got from Walmart as well. It's um, organic celery hearts, organic whole carrots, and I'll cut these up into some sticks. Oh, sorry. I'll cut these up into some sticks and um, use those for that veggie dip that I was telling you about just as a good snack. Um, you know, right after work, so I get off work at 2.20 and I feel like I'm always just needing something when I get home about 3. Um, this here I got from Walmart as well. I didn't need a big thing of it from Costco. But it's Tennessee Pride Natural Country Sausage. And it's 100%, I don't know if you can see, there you go. 100% all natural, no MSG, no nitrates. So nitrate free sausage. Um, and of course it's sausage so there is a lot of fat but there's also 12 grams of protein for two ounces i plan on measuring out an ounce of cooked sausage um for my omelets in the morning so that would be roughly 90 calories six protein and seven and a half fat so i'm gonna cook this up for my meal prep this week um over here i have um out of the way um this is like the best marinara sauce i've ever had and they have i tried it first from walmart but they have this huge jar at costco and it's i guess it's raul's raul's i don't know I'm, I'm not sure how to say it but homemade all natural premium quality marinara sauce and i actually went ahead and bought that because we were at costco for something i'm going to make next week which is um like turkey ground turkey and spaghetti squash with a little bit of this and it's so good um and yeah for the for a half a cup which is about what i use it's 80 calories three carbs three carbs is really good this one had like the lowest carbs and sugar because it is all natural so all right something else i got from costco is parchment paper and i didn't think of it before until i started watching i think it was health nut nutrition and she puts parchment paper down anytime she roasts veggies or bake something in the oven um and i was like oh my gosh why well, haven't i thought of that instead of scrubbing all the burnt pieces off of my baking pans and so i got some parchment paper um, as far as protein goes i got this huge bag of um, it's a 10 pound bag of purdue um, natural wellness skinless chicken breast um, i like purdue because like i said it's natural um, there's no animal byproducts, no antibiotics, no hormones um, added. And so I also really like this because it's select size fillets for fast and even cooking. And so like all of the chicken is like the perfect chicken breast. Like there's none that are just weird and small. And they're all like pretty thin. Um, they each have 100 calories and 22 grams of protein. And so what I like to do is take like two or three of these out on Sunday um defrost them and then cook them up and then i slice it up measure it into two ounce portions put it in um little baggies and then for my salads for the week i already have my chicken made and pre-portioned so love this this will last me a very long time um and then i also got this Maury's marinated wild Alaskan salmon and I just thought this was really good because sometimes with that seasoned salmon that's already pre-seasoned it's like blackened and it's just too much um, but this is wild caught which is good um, and then as far as the macros let's see uh, looks like for four ounces it is one gram of carbs, 23 grams of protein. So I'll probably eat that over the course of two meals um, with the four ounces. So I'll probably have like two ounces and then some broccoli or something like that just to kind of fill in if I'm still a little hungry. Um, but overall, this was a really good find at Costco. Um, next, I got these Mary's Gone Crackers. They, they just kind of sparked my interest anyways. And then I saw Health Note Nutrition got them, and they are organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, whole grain, and vegan. And basically, I just like them because, so you can eat 13 crackers, 21 carbs, 3 grams of protein, 140 calories, but the ingredients are just totally natural. It's organic, whole grain, brown rice, you got quinoa, um, black seeds, sesame seeds, sea salt, 
and then a little wheat free tomorrow. So, um, I don't know. I really like them. Uh, I think they'll be really good in my veggie dip if I just need a little crunch. So, Mary's Gone Crackers, Costco. Next, um, I actually got this from Amazon because it's just the best price. Um, there it is. Okay, green tea is what I got, and they're just K cups. Um, but they are all natural green tea. And my goal is to switch out my iced coffee in the morning since I don't even uh, drink it with protein shakes anymore um, for some hot green tea with one of the half of the lemon that you saw previously. And then also, I've been doing a lot of research on these guys and I got some hydrolyzed collagen peptides. And this is what your skin is made out of. Um, or 80% of the dermis is made out of collagen. And the best way to get it to the dermis is not topical creams that you rub in. It's actually through ingesting the peptides version or, um, you know, where it's broken down into amino acids um, or broken down with amino acids. And so this it says it's water soluble. Um, it also, of course, supports health um, with joints and skin. But it mixes into drinks, and so, and it said online it mixes into hot or cold, so I'm going to mix this with my um, green tea. So, hopefully this will help with the loose skin situation a little bit, help my skin to bounce back, because I am starting to experience a lot of that. Um, and just overall, just help my, ha my hair, you know, I talked about that, it's falling out. Just things like that, I think collagen will be really beneficial. Um, and then I got some kiwi there, which is for my husband for his lunches. So that is about it. I just wanted to show you some of the new healthy things that I got from Costco and Walmart. And you will probably see these in my next video when I show you what I eat in a day.